Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to MOOC and PTL course on Bioengineering, an interface with Biology and Medicine. Today we will discuss some examples of Mendelian genetics. You will see how many human traits follow Mendelian patterns of inheritance, but how these patterns are often more complex than just predicted by simple Mendelian genetics. So, there are many examples of Mendelian genetics which we can study and I must say that you know the Mendelian rules, Mendelian laws were made based on the pea plants with very limited uh, conditions. So, we had one gene, two alleles and we are uh, or we are talking about two genes and four alleles kind of properties. But many times when we talk about human characteristics, things are much more complicated, much more complex and that time the characteristics are governed from many genes, polygenic in nature. So, it may not be always true that you know every inheritance pattern is going to follow Mendelian's law. It may not be always true. But there are many human traits which still follow Mendelian uh, rule and people have done the pedigree analysis. It means in the same family if you look at you know your grandfathers and the grandsons their entire you know properties are there certain characteristics which are appearing and you know, disappearing and reappearing kind of stuff. So, that is a pedigree analysis when you are looking at a family history for a particular trait and then you are assembling that information and trying to derive some sort of family tree or pedigree information from those traits. So, many of the human traits for example, one is known as widow's peak which is something shown here. Uh, so, this property is actually uh, you know the sharp hairline is known as widow's peak which is observed in many families. And these are dominant traits which are actually being followed uh, in, in those women and they are always following the Mendelian uh, ways of inheritance, Mendelian laws of inheritance. There are certain characteristics like if you look at the ear lobe in this case here. So, this is attached ear lobe or this is a free ear lobe. You will see some variations uh, like this. And then these are some of the recessive characteristics which are also found in some family and they also obey Mendelian laws of inheritance. So, but as I mentioned the inheritance patterns are sometimes very complex. They are not as simple as just looking at a pea plant and one gene at a time. They are governed from many genes and many complex information. Those are polygenic in nature. So, Mendel in some way was actually lucky because he was only looking at one thing at a time and then he derived his conclusions based on those relationship between genotype and phenotype ideally is not as simple as just looking at their one genetic content. So, I will show you a couple of examples uh, where the dominant and recessive things may not be exactly following the same trend. So, when we have you know the Mendelian kind of inheritance of complete dominance and recessive that is known as complete dominant characteristics. Sometimes we have incomplete dominance the phenotype of F1 hybrids they are somewhere in between the phenotypes of the two parental uh, phenotypes or the co-dominance it means there are two dominant alleles they are resulting into a third property which is not exactly same like any parents. So, those are co-dominant alleles or co-dominant properties are some of these dominant alleles they are for a particular characteristics always more common than the recessive alleles. Uh, people have also looked at some of the frequency of dominant alleles in this case look at the hand. So, this is one of the dominant characteristic especially a uh, lot of child born in, in US they are having polydactyly you know multiple fingers uh, more than five. So, this extra finger or, or, or toes that is one of the characteristics which is example of polydactyly. The recessive alleles in this case is the normal appearance with the five digits and it is far more prevalent than the dominant allele. So, is this because of natural selection? I think some of these we will discuss in the context of evolution, but just wanted to highlight that you know there are many variations in the human population available 
where one could start thinking about you know genetic principles and some of these things one could think about at the single gene level and some of those are derived at the multiple gene level we will now solve some problems based on the mendelian genetics please try to solve them yourself first try to draw punnett squares where where applicable it will be easier to solve questions in that way also remember two mendelian laws law of segregation and law of independent assortment and the concept of inheritance the law of segregation suggests that two alleles for heritable trait separate from each other during gamete formation and form different gametes the law of independent assortment states that two or more genes assorted independently and each pair of alleles segregate independently during the gamete formation please revise the basic terminologies like what is dominant recessive genotype phenotype alleles and traits let us solve few problems now you should try yourself but a ta will also guide you to show the solutions so let us start it now when true breeding plants cell
So in conclusions, now you are familiar with some of the examples of Mendelian genetics. In the next lecture, we will discuss some deviations from Mendelian genetics, where you will understand that not everything in the world follows Mendelian rules. Thank you and see you next week. Thank you.